hello and welcome to the lecture on creating product landing pages so we'll create something similar to casper.com we will take their logo we will not use this image we will use another casper image and then we'll try to match up like you know having a heading you know small headings and we have a button here then we'll create some reviews here then we'll create some footer here okay we will not be able to do everything that's available on this page it will take a lot of time to display it but let's see how you can take a web page look at the web page and build a web page okay that's the exercise i want you to try now okay so we'll use casper as our reference so what we're going to do is we're going to have an image here we're going to have some text we're going to create this button then we're going to create a small label here then we're going to have this you know three boxes together and then we have some ratings over here all right so let's create that project so we'll call it product landing page and i'm going to copy paste two things here one is the casper logo that's this casper logo and one is the featured image that's image we're going to place it here okay in this box area all right so for this let's create a page and we'll call it as casper dot html okay so let's open this up all right so we have our boilerplate so let's look at our page so what we're going to do is we're going to have the casper and then we're going to have some text here we're going to have an image we're going to create the buttons and then we're going to create this review here okay so i'm going to minimize this so let's view our page okay so let's build that so for that we have our resources we have these two images one we have the casper featured image and then we have our casper logo okay so let's write the html first then what we're going to do is we're going to add the css and what we can do is we're going to create the css in a file called css style.css okay i'm going to create that file and then we're going to add our styles here okay and then we're going to add the link to that css so that's our link to our css okay it's style.css make sure the file name is correct it's matching with style.css so let's add the image first we're going to add the logo first okay so we need the casper logo dot png all right so let's add our html then we use css to change everything so let's add our headers now so in header we're gonna say over maybe some 35,000 five star reviews and this is what award winning comfort feels like then we're gonna create a link shop for mattresses then we're gonna have a footer according to casper's global on-site customer reviews okay we're gonna align all those things don't worry about it then we have our testimonials right so we have h1 that is on our mat our mattresses have everyone talking okay then you have divs that is nothing but your three reviews okay and each review can you can delete this so each review have an h2 tag the name of that company and then you're gonna have the review there. And then we're gonna add the good housekeeping okay. 
and we're gonna create one more the perfect matrices according to science then we are gonna have our footer footer is copyright All right, that's our footer. Okay, so let's do our CSS now. So this is how the page looks like. You've added all our text. Let's align them now. First thing is body. I'm gonna change the body color to hash one d three zero six a. Okay, then the anchor tags. I see color white. and text decoration is now okay the header the background image that's nothing but our header you can add the background image by url of your image and that will add the background image you see the background image has been added okay now you can work through the colors and everything in case the image is not shown the color will be shown right you align the text to the center then you are adding some padding to it right the most important thing is the height right you need the box to be bigger the featured box to be bigger so let's make it to 450 px so this looks like a nice header right so this is our logo right so let's work on that image padding is 5px maybe i call it as a logo right one fifty px it is 40 px and this logo is not applicable to that image so let's add that first all right so you know whatever changes you are doing is applicable to the logo now we have changed the height and the width padding we have changed you can say display block so that you get all the width and the height for it and you can add the margin to the left so that you can move the image auto and then you can have the right as auto okay auto means whatever the width and the height and then the padding that you have added will be applicable all right so we're gonna have for the header you have something called a stop line this is the top liner right so so for the top liner we want to have the font size of 15 px okay so that's our top liner so we can go ahead and add that top liner to our header so if we head over to p tag all right that's our top liner so that's our top liner p dot top liner and that's what we have added onto the class top liner here then in the header a we're gonna add a main button right we have a button so we'll edit our button so button is somewhere here let's open up this page yeah shop for mattress this is the button right so this is what we're changing now so we're gonna move from top 80 px we're gonna add some padding to it 15 px it's not able to visible because we haven't added this class we're gonna add this class right so the padding has been done then border 
border radius is 0.25 rem then background color we're gonna have 1e30 okay that's the color i got it from casper.com themselves how are you gonna find it so if you go to casper.com go inspect the page go inspect button all right so that's the color here i've just converted into hexadecimal and i'm using that okay so this is how our page look like we have a button we have a header let's move things down then we'll align this and then the footer then we'll make it color white the text white okay the text is white and then we'll say display is inline block okay then once you say inline block it's moving down because this padding and margin is applicable on it all right then we're gonna have So we're gonna have footer text. So footer text is the footer text. We're gonna change that. This is our footer text. We're gonna add a padding top. 150 px. So footer went down. And we'll say display block. You can see the footer is here the header is here so it looks nice now you have your subheading you have your logo aligned then you have your you know the heading then you have a button then you have this nice little text here there's something similar what we are trying to do here you have your heading then you have some text then you have a button then you have this nice labeling here right then we'll try to align this like like this right Okay, then we'll create testimonials. We just have to say text line center. Okay, and where we'll add these testimonials? We'll add these testimonials to our div tags. So we have our div. Right, so they are aligned in center. And what we can do is we can add reviews to it. So we're going to create this class and create these classes and then we're going to say reviews. Okay. And similarly for the footer, we will just add some settings for the footer. Okay. So let's go ahead and create this review. The first thing we'll say is display inline block okay they are in the block now so if you see they are in the blocks right and we can say width with this 350px height is 250px okay save this then we'll look on to our page so it looks like we have the alignment similar to this right we are able to create the boxes three boxes aligned together with some you know nice little heading all right so if you go to here so instead of h2 we'll make it to p tag right okay now look onto our page so it looks nice now you have your heading and then you have your text nice little boxes right align one after the other okay and then you have this small heading then you have your main heading then you have your reviews then you have your logo align center let's work on the footer now okay so footer we go down to footer now this is the footer right so footer we'll say we'll add some background color ash 
3073B. Okay, that's your footer. Change the text color to white. Clear both so that it's not following the above blocks. Text align center, so it moves to the center. Then you add some padding so that it looks little big. Add some padding inside and it's good to go. So your page is completely ready now. So you have your header, you have your logo, you have some text here, then you have a heading, you have your button here. There's nothing but the anchor tag. Then you have your you know little text here, then you have your headings, then you have nice able to create boxes using which you can display the reviews now. And then you have your footer ready, right? So very simple one page HTML that you can create for landing pages. You can take any landing pages, see how they have done it. Like you can create these boxes, three different div boxes have one heading one image and you know this button we have already created create the button here think how you can apply the boxes concept to the websites right that's what we have been doing right we have been first defined the html we thought through how we're going to align the text right what text you want on the web page then we have thought about you know how do you create those boxes right how do you create those boxes and at what level what rule you want to apply right you want to have this nice little boxes with have some padding in it, some margin in it. Then you want to have some, you know, height in the width for your boxes. Then you want to have what background color, you know, what do you want to have a padding inside or you want to have a margin outside. You know, all this very simple concept There's nothing fancy about it. If you understand the box concept and understand how to work with floating of the columns, you know, sizing of the columns and all those things, it's easy to create any web page you want. Okay. So that's all about creating a personal landing page. Do this exercise and have fun with it.